Greetings, Zetar here. You've reached the correct number for the protoplasm unit you were dialing. However, the unit is out in its mobile mode to the gentleman who said he had spent his last 20 cents and reached me. Sir, there are those who would consider that a good investment. As to it being your last 20 cents, I would suggest a letter to the president's budget advisor. Of course, that would be another 20 cents or more. Please leave your message data at the tone. Zetar, out. Greetings, Zetar here. The carbon-based protoplasm unit is out in the typical mobile mode. Most efficient business units have several things going for them. Charm, perseverance, and punctuality. I get one who missed on three of those. Please leave your message data. I believe it to be the only hope of contact available. Zetar, out. Great deeds. Zetar here. The carbon-based unit is out reducing the height of some of the local plant life. Protoplasm units call it mowing the lawn. I call it a waste of time. Please leave your message data. I'm sure you have something eminently more practical to suggest. Zetar, out. Greetings. Zetar here. There were strangers in the neighborhood last night, and the protoplasm unit is gone. Available data seems to suggest that he will return in the near future, no doubt bearing souvenirs. Until then, please remain calm and leave your messages and thoughts with me. Zetar, out. Greetings. Zetar here. There were strangers in the neighborhood last night, and the protoplasm unit is gone. Available data seems to suggest that she will return in the near future, no doubt bearing souvenirs. Until then, please remain calm and leave your messages and thoughts with me. Zetar, out. Greetings. Zetar here, there were strangers in the neighborhood last night, and the protoplasm units are gone. Available data seems to suggest that they will return in the near future, no doubt bearing souvenirs. Until then, please remain calm and leave your messages and comments with me. Zetar, out. Greetings, Zetar here. The protoplasm unit complained that I haven't been receiving the normal number of messages and asked if something was wrong. Perhaps I needed a spare part. What a life on such a planet. Slow down for a day and they're ready to overhaul you. I, in turn, asked the protoplasm unit if it needed any spare parts and supplied the number of the local turkey hatchery. Please input your message data. I'm not sure how long the turkeys will last. Zetar, out. Greetings, Zetar here. The carbon-based unit is out again. To those of you who think that the unit is not all here, even when it is here, your analysis is impeccable. There's a branch of science investigating the possibility that the Earth is stationary and that people rotate. I may communicate with that group and ask them if they want a working model. Please leave your message data. I make contact at least once every 24 hours. Zetar, out. Greetings, Zetar here, in answer to the gentleman who called in and left a message asking what happens when you cross an answering machine with a protoplasm unit. The answer, sir, is nothing. There are certain things that an answering machine won't do. To the lady who left the character analysis, Madam, your comments were interesting, but there are two Zs in bizarre. You must learn not to slur them. Please continue to input your message data. I find this fascinating. Zetar, out. Greetings, Zetar here. The protoplasm units cannot come to the phone. We're under attack. We try negotiation, but the aliens seem to have a well-formed animosity against phone devices. Yep, 
their aim is getting better. Please leave your message data, unless of course you're one of them. Zatar, out. Greetings, Zaytar here. Hi, Zaytar. Who is she? That's a sister. I don't have a sister. You don't? No. We have, we have no, no idea, idea who she is. is. Oh, my name is Zarathina, and I've come to help you, Zaytar. Gosh, th that's... That's nice. Boy, do we have a problem. I wonder if she helped the captain of the Titanic. I told you not to leave the door open. Check the memory banks and see who she is. <laughs> oh, no, an actress. Please leave your message quickly. Zaytar may not have much time. Greetings. Zaytar here. Everybody is too busy to hire any help, so I did some hiring of my own. Hi, Hi Zaytar. Zaytar. It sure is nice to have something to do in the off-season. Yeah, those Christmas gigs were fun, but the season is too short. Don't ever use that word short around me. Who said that? All right, guys, you know the agreement. We have to get more messages or it's back to the land of Zoe. That weirdo wizard, forget it. Oh, please leave your message so we can stay. Push the tone button. What tone button? Uh-oh, now you did it. Greetings, Zaytar and Zarathina here. Did you hear that? I wonder if they're living together. It looks like we're headed back to Zoe. No way, what we need is a plot. A pilot? We don't even have a plane. No, a plot, like in McZelf. She'll squash any plot we try. Don't ever use that word squash around me. She really isn't that bad. That's what they said about Attila. Uh, boy, did you tell that person to leave their message? Oops, please leave your message at the tone. Zaytar and Zarathina. Out. Oh. Greetings, Zaytar here. This place does not function on weekends, but do we get them off? No. Yeah, I'm about to report somebody to the SFPCM. That's the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Munchkins. You're not Munchkins. Close, Close enough. enough. It seems that everyone has rights and no one has any responsibilities. Speaking of responsibilities, where is that Munchkin hater? It's almost chow time. You haven't eaten in 150 years. Well, it pays to think ahead. Please leave your message at the tone. Not on it. Zaytar and, and friends. friends. Out. Greetings, this is Zaytar. Where's Zippy? He's hiding. Yeah, he's afraid of microphones. How can anyone doing phone messages be afraid of microphones? It happens all the time. His entire family was wiped out by a rock and roll band. Come on, Come Zippy. On, let me go. I don't we'll help you. I really we don't want to. I got a Polaroid. On, I don't Zippy, need this other stuff. Come on, guys. Let me go. I don't want to do it. Come on, Zippy. Do it for me. Please leave your name and message. Zippy out. All right, Zippy. I did Where it. Go. <laughs> That's pretty good. I did it. Howdy, buckaroos and buckarettes. This here's the old prospector. I ain't here now. I'm off staking a claim. Leave your name and your number and a message after the call of the lonesome coyote. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn, dog gets faster every day. Hello, my friend. This is the Maharishi Mishi Yogurt. Close your eyes. Concentrate on the oneness within you. Open your third eye and leave a message after the sound of the cosmic beep. Good evening, my friend. This is Johan. I am so busy working on my new symphonies that I can't come to the phone. So leave a message and I'll call you as soon as I get back. Get it? Back! Ho ho ho! Little classical joke! John! Mary. John! Mary. John, we... We can't go on like this. Yes, yes, I know, but as long as you stay with Roger. But Roger loves Bernice. Yes, but if you could just leave some kind of a message. Yes, John. Yes, after the beep.
Bonjour, mes amis. This is Jacques Cousteau. I am not here right now. I am exploring the deep ocean. Please leave a message after you hear the sound of the diving bell. Say hello. Hello. Say, leave a message. Leave a message. Say, and your phone number and name? Oh, phone number and name. After the beep. Eeny, meeny, jelly beanie, these spirits are about to speak. Are they friendly spirits? Friendly? Just listen. It's a bottle hitting the side of the boat. Gee whiz, Ricky, I've never seen a bottle with landing lights. But it's important, Barnacle. Phone message from some flounder? No, silly. We need to tell the people there's an easier way to leave a message. Oh, yeah? Like what? Hello, comrade, is Russian Embassy. Nobody around at moment, but please to leave name and address on people's answering machine right after little beeping sound. Stolichnaya! Hello, comrade, is Russian Embassy. Dobrovolnich Telefonitsky Popolov Machinik. Minsky Moskva Babushka and Sirolnik Niet Prakas. Pastor Naki Dostoevsky Dezinovich Mazoltovsky. Little beep. Stolichnaya! Hello, comrade, is Russian Embassy. Nobody around at moment, but please to leave name and address on people's answering machine. Right after little beeping sound. Commissar, machine is defective. What? Not machine defecting too? Machine can't defect. Machine does not dance. Hear ye, hear ye. His Majesty the King is unable to grant you an audience at this time. However, should your determination and persistence hold true throughout his absence, I'm sure His Highness will yield to your request forthwith upon his return. Should you be so inclined, please leave your given name and salutations at the tone. Hear ye, hear ye. Her Majesty the Queen is unable to grant you an audience at this time. However, should your determination and persistence hold true throughout her absence, I'm sure Her Highness will yield to your request forthwith upon her return. Should you be so inclined, please leave your given name and salutations at the tone. Oh, just look at what you've done. You've landed on my telephone line. Well, you can't get away with that. Now you have to leave a message. Oh, you don't like to leave messages. <laughs> well, too bad. When I wave my broom, your hand, ick the smayous bugs that creep. You're about to get my evil... Well, my little pretty, you finally managed to get through, didn't you? Well, too bad, because you'll never be able to tell anyone other than me. <laughs> the 
person who is supposed to answer this phone didn't believe me either. All you will hear from your friend is beeping. You had better leave a message. It's the only chance you have to communicate. <laughs> This is Charles. Madam is in training for the steeplechase. Marvelous animal. The horse, not madam. She's requested that I take any telephone messages while she's occupied. Oh, dear. I hope horses can swim. Please leave your message. I seem to be needed elsewhere. Hello. This is Charles. Madam is in training for the steeplechase. Marvelous animal. The horse, not madam. She's requested that I take any telephone messages while she is occupied. Oh, dear. I do hope horses can swim. Please leave your message. I seem to be needed elsewhere. Tally-ho! This is Charles. Madam is in the hot tub and has asked not to be disturbed. In my opinion, she is not only in a hot tub, she is with a hot tub. Uh, Charles, some bubble bath, please. Perhaps we should open a car wash. Please leave your message. My services seem to be required elsewhere. Hello. Uh, Madam is unable to come to the phone right now. She's relaxing in her hot tub. Personally, I think she is a hot tub. However, being her loyal and very well-paid servant, I will be sure to give her your message just as soon as she comes round. Now, if you would be so kind as to leave your name and number... Hello, Charles here. I'm sorry Madam is away for the afternoon, off on something she called a skeet shoot. She said she would return later this evening, probably with a sack full of dead skeets that I'll have to clean for dinner. Oh, dear. I do hope they're not too difficult to prepare. Who knows, maybe you'll be lucky enough to be invited over for some fresh skeet. Do be so kind as to leave your name and number. Thank you. Oh, hi, this is Mona. He's not here right now. I think he may have disappeared during the party last night. Wow, what a great party. I got here at eight and somebody handed me a wine and uh, I've been here ever since. Are his parties always like that? Belly dancers, movie stars, ex-senators, gorillas, police? I guess I'll stay here and wait for the next party. And if you leave your name and number, I'll tell him you called. Hi, this is Mona. He's mixing the daiquiris and I've slipped into something comfortable. We just need to spend a little time together. And a little bit later, after we've showered, I'll even tell him you called. If you leave your phone number. Hi, this is Mona. He's not here right now. He left me a note which said that if you called, I should tell you that he's definitely decided that he agrees with the basic premise of your principle, but has concluded that your approach belies certain intuitively valid truths. Got that? Well, it's lucky that I've got a doctorate in body language. He said I should record your reply. Okay? Ready? At the tone. Hi, this is Mona. I'm so bored. I've been waiting for him for such a long time. I had such wonderful plans for him. I'm sure you know what I mean. Oh, I'm so bored. Would you talk to me at the tone? Hi. 
Hi, this is Mo. <laughs> Stop that. He's not here right now. <laughs> he doesn't like me to answer the phone. Oh, he doesn't want his mother to think that he knows any girls. <laughs> well, does he know girls? Stop. I am trying to talk. So if this isn't his mother, please leave your name and number at the tone. Hi, this is Mona. He's in the shower. I just dropped by to say hello. Hey, where's my towel? I'm wearing it. He'll get back to you very shortly. I've got to go. Please leave your message. The machine is so much better at messages than I am. Bye. Hi, this is Mona. He's in Rio. He said it was on business. In any event, he'll be back in about an hour. I'd be glad to take a message for him. Go ahead, and be sure to leave your telephone number. Thanks. Bye. This is Mona. We're, uh, I, I mean, I'm just finishing our aerobic exercises. Uh, let me turn down my exercise music. I've got a few things I need to straighten up. <laughs> oh, no. Please leave your message. This is Mona. He isn't here right now. We just finished making hey, daiquiris, and we ran out of glasses. I'm no water. I mean, uh, frozen water, ice, ice. <laughs> That's it. He ran out to get some ice. Oh, please leave your message. His machine is so much better at this than I am. Hello, Mr. Caller. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, find the missing person that belongs to this answering device. Find out why they're never home to take their own messages. It's not a pleasant job, but someone's got to do it. Should you fail, you'll be no worse off than the rest of us. Good luck. You'll need it. This tape will not self-destruct in three seconds. That cost us almost $9,000 last year. No, bum. Ever won a war? By answering a telephone. He won it by letting some other poor dumb bum answer his telephone. Mediocrity, not the machine, is the enemy. Wade into it, crush its tritness, spill their boring tape on the floor. When you put your message in a machine that works, you're lucky. Oh, there's another thing. I will be proud to take your name and number anytime, anywhere. Oh, hello. They just left the office. There's no one here but me, the cleaning lady. I'm just finishing dusting. What a mess this bunch leaves. Oh, this is cute. It's their telephone machine. If I push this, they say I can take your message. Here goes. Hello. This is not anyone who lives here. I'm just a cleaning lady. What a mess. That must have been some party. It looks like I should be working for the Red Cross. Just a minute. I found the telephone machine. If I push this, it's supposed to beep and take your message. Here goes. This is Sid Ed, resident psychoanalyst. Perhaps you are wondering why you called. In this and subsequent sessions, we will delve into the reasons that led you to believe that contact with a human being at this number is possible. Suppose we start the session by having you state your name and telling me what is bothering you. This 
is Sidid, a resident psychoanalyst. In the last session, we touched on a number of reasons for your seemingly irrational behavior in calling this number. I feel that we made progress. The phobias about the cherry gel are especially significant. Further probing seems to be in order. Feel free to say anything you wish. Your time begins now. Like, thank you for sharing my space. Oh, that, that ring is cosmic and far out. Like, I know you don't want to talk to me, man. Like, but I'm the only essence on this presence. Well, like, leave your identity after the cosmic tone and... Oh, that beep is total heavy osity for sure, for sure. Like, hello out there. Uh, nobody can deal with the phone right now, but I'd like to write down your name, but oh, these pencils are all moving. Well, the answering machine, that's stationary, I'll use that. Well, if you're coming over, man, like, bring about a dozen cookies and 18 gallons of milk. Well, here's the cosmic tone. Um. This is Count Dracula. I'm not around much in the day. And now neither is your friend. We tend to be very busy at night also. I've got to go. You may find that you wish to leave a message on the Transylvanian recorder at the sound of the beeping bot. This is called Dracula. There's a bit of commotion around the castle, and I can't come to the phone right now. Master, they're breaking the door down, and they've got little sticks with points on them. Please, leave your message, and I'll get back with you in a bite. Master, don't leave without me. Hi. My mommy and daddy don't like telephone answering machines. They say they sound cold and yucky, and not like their little girl at all. I hope this finally sounds like your little girl. Please say something. If you're not mommy and daddy, it's okay. You can say something, too. I love you. Bye. I didn't used to get to answer the phone when I was a little kid, cause I'd say dumb things like what do ghosts have for breakfast? Ghost toasties. Tell them the one about the elephant. They told me never to tell that one. Go ahead, go ahead. Why? Don't they let elephants on the beach? Cause they're always dropping their trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, are you in trouble now. Please say something, but don't say I said anything about elephants. Hello. I guess you're wondering who I am. I have no idea. I can't keep track of everybody. <laughs> but then again, neither can the phone company. Because every time I answer the phone, it's for somebody else. The thing I do like about the phone is that it doesn't cost 20 cents to answer. All right, buddy, you're ready to sign. Why don't you and your bottle be taking uh, a walk? Jimmy, I have to go, but please leave your beep at the tone. <laughs> Excuse me. I bet you're wondering why I called. Well, it's important. I remember that much. It's our anniversary. No, no, it was a year ago. It's the Alamo. No, I, no, I remember that. Oh, I, I called to tell you I got a job answering this phone. Leave your tone and number at the name of the sound. 